Hello and welcome. My name is Debbie Reed. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today we're going to make this cute adorable card from Tea Together. This is a cute little stamp set. It is in the Occasions catalog on page 49. It's $22 for the stamp set but if you would like to get the dies that go with us with a hundred dollar purchase good until March 31st 2019 you can get the Tea Framelits dies free with a hundred dollar purchase. Let's get started on the card. Today's card is a, a petal pink card base. It is four and a quarter by five and a half. We have a flirty flamingo card that goes on top, and that is four by five and a quarter. We have a piece of soft sea foam green that's three and three quarters by five. A piece of a strip of the designer series paper um, uh, what is this one called wood grain and it's two and a half by five and I have two little scrap pieces of white and petal pink paper okay the first thing we're going to do is fold our paper in half and we're going to give it a nice crease with our bone folder like so and then we're going to take the uh, tin tile embossing folder and we're going to place this little seafoam green piece in the embossing folder and I usually I line up these four little flowers and line this up like this and because this is a thicker embossing folder you only need a top plate so we're going to run that through the Big Shot machine and now you have this wonderful piece and we're going to actually put this piece on top of the flirty flamingo. So we'll glue this on here. Because it's a, a, a textured, you need to have just a little bit more glue. And this Mono Tombow glue is a very good adhesive glue that just helps when you have a lot of pattern and texture on your card. All right, we're giving this a nice crease, or a nice press, rather. And now we're going to adhere this to our card base. All right. And line that up. Okay, there we go. And now the fun begins. We're going to be using some, I forgot to show this part in the video, we are going to be using some vellum. And the vellum is from, let me show you. The vellum is from the wonderful floral paper. Beautiful paper, I love the vellum part. This is the paper we're gonna be using these two pieces of the vellum. It comes in a 12 by 12. And what we're going to do now is we're going to be doing the teapot of this set. So we're going to take um, our embossing buddy. We're going to give this a good rub to get the static off. And then we're going to use Versamark and we're going to stamp this with Versamark. And then we're going to put this down and put some gold embossing, gold embossing powder down. I'm going to sprinkle this on here like this. I should have put a scrap piece below this, but I didn't. I'm going to just scoosh that back into the jar. And if you miss a little tiny bit, you just go back and just add a little bit more of the embossing powder. All right, we're going to then take another little piece of paper and we're going to do an embossing buddy once again on this piece. This is for the teacup using the Versamark. We're going to give this a nice press and do the same thing, add the gold embossing powder and sprinkle the rest of that back into the jar. And I can see I need just a tiny bit more. Okay. Now 
now we're going to take our heat gun. Let me just wipe this little mess right off of here first so I don't get powder everywhere. Okay, we're going to take the heat gun and you're going to run the heat gun on top of this and just run it slowly. And to save time, I'm not gonna have you watch me heat this. And the same thing with the teacup. So then you would end up with this. And now we're going to um, take our watercolor brush. This has water in the tube. And I'm not going to actually do the whole coloring process on this, but I am gonna walk you through it. So you're going to take your petal pink ink and you open up your ink pad and you're going to take a block and just daub the block in here and this is going to be your palette. And so you're going to take your watercolor brush and put it in here and you're just basically giving a nice color wash on the picture. Okay, so to save time from having to do all that, we're going to just say that we already colored the pitcher, the teapot rather, and this is what it would look like. Now when the teapot dries, we're going to come back in with our embossing buddy, and we're going to use the little flower from the set. Let me show you. This is the little flower we're going to use. So we're using the teacup, the teapot, and this little flower. So we're going to take our Versamark again and we're going to go into the center of this little teapot that's now dry and we're going to put a stamp there and we're going to go back and get our gold embossing powder, put that on here, just like that, and then we're going to heat set that. Get our little mess cleaned up again. And now, when you do the, you're going to end up with the little flower. So once again, I'm not going to be coloring all the details, but the flower was colored the same process. We're gonna use the little paint. And I used Blackberry Bliss. You can actually squeeze the back of the Blackberry Bliss, and you can actually use this as your palette but I like to keep mine clean. So once again, I just stamped a block into this and used it to paint my color. Then I used some Granny Apple Green marker to color the little leaves. Okay, that's how we get to doing the teapot, or the, the teapot. Now we're going to do the teacup. And the teacup, I took the vellum and I did the same process. I used my embossing buddy, I used the Versamark, stamp the teacup onto the vellum, and then heat set it, and then I glued this little teacup on a white piece of paper, and then I die cut it out. So basically you would lay your die on here, take it to the Big Shot machine and cut it out, and then you end up with this cute little piece. Now we're going to do another little extra step, and we're going to take have this little white piece on hand. We're going to take the embossing buddy again and you would wipe this, put your embossing powder on, and now you're going to adhere this piece onto your white extra piece. And we're doing this to create the cup to this saucer because I didn't want the cup and the saucer to be exactly the same. So I will show you this process. So we're going to glue this vellum, give it a nice gluing because we want it to stick really well. We're gonna glue this down on this white piece of paper. And then this is going to get fussy cut. And all we're cutting out is just this part of the cup. And this cuts out super easy. So let me just show you real quickly. Um, I won't show you real quick. Me, I don't see my scissors. Where did my scissors go? Well, I'm going to just walk through the next process because I don't see where I put my scissors. Not good. So anyway, now we're going to get where this is fussy cut out and you would have this. Actually, you would have just the cup, sorry. You would have this. 
So now this is fussy cut with your scissors. We're going to actually glue this little teacup onto this part that we've already done and die cut. Add some glue. And now we're going to just put this little piece on here like that. Just like that. Okay, now to put the rest of the card together. We're going to take our little wood piece and we're going to glue this to the bottom of the card. Just like this. Great, and then we have in the catalog, we have all of these little doilies and they're all multicolored. I didn't want to use the multicolored side. So I actually took a doily and I snipped it in half and we're going to just use the half that we cut and glue this down. And you don't need a lot of glue, so just kind of splotch it. There we go, like that. I'm gonna place this here now we're going to take our little teapot that we made and we're going to put this on dimensionals. So yay for dimensionals. They're always nice to give that extra lift so things aren't so flat. So we need about seven of these probably. Six, seven, just like that. All right, now we're gonna take our little dimensionals off the little backings off and we're going to put this on our card and place this about right there and we're going to take our cute little teacup now the teacup is going to sit over here on part of the teapot so we just need glue on this edge or the dimensionals on this edge and glue on this edge so this only needs two dimensionals on what would be the left side and then we're gonna glue the rest of the teapot, or the teacup, rather. My goodness, I'm getting confused with my teapot and teacup. All right, we're gonna put this down on this little corner. And there's no real set place, but somewhere there. Now we are taking our little scrap piece of paper, our two scrap pieces, and we're going to take our little sentiment from the stamp set that says, love is a warm cup of tea. And we're going to just ink that up and it doesn't matter if this lines up or not because we're going to die cut this out and the little dies are this little die from the square uh, framelit die set and then we're going to take this little stitch die and we're going to cut out this other little spare piece of petal pink take that to the big shot machine because we're on camera, we can do things quickly, magic. And then we are going to take our little sentiment that we have, and we're gonna glue this onto the little square stitched piece of paper. Put a little glue, put this down, line this up. Okay just like that. And now we're gonna flip this over, put some more glue. And we're going to put this, so there's a little, like a little cross here, and I thought this would be a perfect spot for this little sentiment. So we're gonna just lay that right on there. And now just to finish this off and give it an extra little bling, we're going to use our little pearls and I thought these little yellow pearls would be perfect in the center of our little flower. And this little flower, I also added a tiny bit of Winca Stella just to give it some bling. Oh, that's stuck to my finger. There we go. And there is our card for the day. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked my video, I hope you will hit the like button, subscribe, and maybe if you would like to be notified of more videos that I'm bringing out, 
please hit the little bell below on the right. The descriptions to all of this will be in the descriptions below. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.